guys. Happy Tuesday. I believe today is September the 15th. Yes, it is, because I have my six-week appointment tomorrow on the 16th. Y'all, pray for me. I don't know what that appointment is going to entail, but hopefully it ain't nothing that I can't have. Anywho, um, I am leaving my parents' house, baby girls, inside. I went there to drop off all the newborn clothes that she can no longer fit to my sister, because you know my sister is having a little girl in January. So I laundered everything and dressed and then folded everything, even the stuff that she didn't get a chance to wear. I laundered it and folded it and, um, you know, dropped it back off to her. I dropped off the newborn photo props. Oh, crap. I didn't, I forgot to bring the crown and some other stuff. I need to bring that back. Um, but anyway, I dropped that stuff off to her. I had my father's carpet cleaner here because we were shampooing the carpet the uh, rugs in my house so Ronnie's going to meet me at my parents house um he's on his way home from work so he's going to meet me um and we have to go to Home Depot to get some stuff and he's going to unload this out of my car because it's a little too heavy and then once we go to Home Depot I need to get some garage door paint because I want to paint my garage door I did get that broken window repaired so we're good on that and then I want to get some stain for around my like flower beds, the logs that create the flower bed, they're like really chipped up. So I want to get some um, stain for those. Um, I think that's all I'm going to get from Home Depot today. Um, and then later on, I need to go to Brittany and Chiron's house to pick up um, a few things from them that I need. And those are my three things I need to do today. So. Yeah, that's it, that's all. Right now I'm headed to grab me something to eat because I'm starving, it's 2.05 and I haven't eaten, well I did have a waffle this morning but that's all I've eaten all day, I'm starving. Um, so my family had McDonald's for lunch but that was before me and Ray got there and Ronnie said he's stopping right now to get him something because he's starving so I'm gonna stop and get me something and then I'm coming back to my parents house to wait for him to get there because he's coming from Virginia it's going to take him a while I don't know what I want to eat I don't know if I want Popeye I really don't want Popeye's um, I don't know we had America's Best Wings last night at Ronnie's parents house and I had a really nice grilled chicken salad which was good and then I had some lemon pepper wings so I got my salad and wing fix, but I feel like all I eat is chicken. Like all I eat is chicken. Um, and I don't want to go to McDonald's because that's passing the Home Depot. I don't think I want to go to Wendy's, but I don't know. Like I don't know what I want. Anywho, you guys, big things are happening. things are happening I, I have a laundry list of stuff to get done this week I gotta figure out when I'm going back to work again um, originally I had said the beginning of November which would have been three months but now I'm thinking about going the beginning of October which would be two months I don't know um, if I go back in October it won't be the first week in October it may be the second week because baby girl has her two month checkup appointment on the fifth so I want to like get through that then try to transition back and I may not go back full time right away I may do like a couple days a week or a few like a half a day every day I don't know I don't know I need to talk to Ronnie about that um, but I do need to figure it out because um, I need to let them know like what my plan is um, and it's starting to get chilly here like I'm definitely getting fall uh, weather vibes in the DMV right now it's 69 degrees and that it hasn't been this low it was kind of cool this morning my, my dad said when you took the trash out so um i've been putting long sleeves on baby girl and pants and stuff but i just love like sweater weather and fall weather and boots and stuff like that y'all know i love my uggs i have 
how I mean, you know how many pair I have now, like five or six pair. But anyway, I'm not buying any this season. I'm telling you that. Hold me to it, y'all. Hold me to it. I don't care what sale. I don't care if they're free. I don't need no more Uggs. Like, no more. But baby girl, it's a different story. Actually, she has two pair. Um, the ones that I got for, for um, Mia when she was like six months. So she has two pair and Mia like only wore once, um, basically. And she wasn't even walking when she wore them. So they're practically brand new. Um, so she has two pair, but I may get her something. I don't know. Anywho, I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat, y'all. Do I want Popeyes? I really wish they had a Wawa down here. Let me get a sandwich. I ain't even feeling Subway. I'm really not. But I do want something quick. Um, I might go to McDonald's and just get me some chicken nuggets. That's probably what I'll do. But, um, anywho, yeah, things have been going. I haven't really been vlogging that much just because when I'm at home, I'm doing the same thing, cleaning bottles, changing diapers, like <laughs> feeding a baby, burping a baby, trying to, you know, sh shower myself and, you know, like, which is a luxury these days. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's why I really haven't been vlogging. We don't really do too much, um, but this weekend coming, my mom's having like an end of the summer party for the kids in my family, and it's like Minnie and Mickey Mouse themed, and she's like went all out, pulling out all the stops and everything, so I'll definitely try to vlog that process, the setup, and then vlog a little bit of the party, because I'm pretty sure the kids are going to be excited. It's a pool party, like I said, end of the summer, um, and then after that, I'm sure my father will get the company to come and close the pool for the, the year, or the rest of the, the year, um, so yeah yeah um what else i think that's it i don't know what else to tell you guys i need to figure out what to do with my hair like please give me some suggestions because i don't know i don't want to have to deal with it every day and these braids have been a godsend but it's definitely time to take them out it's been two months so they need to come out um but i don't know what else to do with my hair as far as a protective style that I don't have to worry about because with baby girl I ain't got a lot of time so I need a style that I don't have to really maintain on a daily basis right now um, but I don't want to take the braids out and then put braids right back in like I feel like that's way too much tension on my hair so I don't know what I'm going to end up doing I also don't want my hair to fall out because of postpartum shedding so I don't know I have stopped taking my prenatal vitamins y'all I'm breaking all the rules like all the rules which reminds me I need to get those um vitamin D drops in baby girls next bottle I'm supposed to get rid of those every day and I've missed a few days so bad mommy but anyway um that's really all that's been going on like we've been trying to clean the house we've been decluttering things and stuff like that but other than that just visiting my parents and visiting his parents all that's really been going on so I haven't really I don't have a lot of vlog footage because that's pretty much what we do when we go there we just kind of like sit around we watch tv we converse we eat dinner or lunch or whatever time of day it is and um, that's pretty much it it's nothing really special going on so I usually don't pull out the camera um like I said we went to his family's house last night and uh, or yesterday evening and we just chilled we ordered food watch tv and now that football season is back on like sundays are pretty much out because Ryan wants to watch every game known to man like he can't just watch the cowboys game he gotta watch all the games but anyway um sundays are pretty much out it'll just be me and baby girl most sundays if we do leave the house because he already gonna be locked to the tv unless he's going somewhere to watch the game um and then what have we been doing that's yeah that's pretty much it and now that he's back at work um we are doing even less during the week because he's back at work he does have another six weeks of leave that he can use within a year of her birth and we haven't really decided how he's going to split it up and use it but he did take the first six weeks um and she was six weeks yesterday so time is flying baby girl is on her way to being two months which is crazy 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 um, but yeah, um, 
as far as like daycare and stuff we really haven't like looked into like seriously daycare like, we really haven't went on any you know tours or anything like that especially with COVID I don't even know if they're doing tours or whatever um but we um really haven't done any of that type of stuff I mean we looked at some um private schools and programs that we want to put her in hopefully when she turns two but we really haven't looked at any daycare options for like now for infants um with my job currently at work from home 100 percent right now and it's looking like it's going to be probably through the rest of the year oh my gosh like what in the world why is this line so long anyway um it's looking like through the rest of the year that's what it'll be and then Ronnie is pretty much work from home unless he has somewhere to go, which, I mean, you know, he goes out for a few hours a day. He just would probably drop her off with my mom or with his mom. His mom is retired. My mom works from home 100%, not just because of COVID, like 100%. She's been working home for, for years. Um, so I don't really know what we're going to, I don't know. It's still in the works. So I don't I, like, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I think we're just gonna wing it for a while. <laughs> I think that's what I'm trying to say. I think we're just gonna wing it for a while and see how that goes. Um, because for the most part, I'll be home. I know for probably the rest of this year, I'll be home. But then starting at the top of the year, if we do go back into the office, well, I guess we'll just wing it. I don't know. We really haven't gotten that far yet. I'm just trying to update you guys on all the different topics. I did get the Fenty Skin Care line. I have not tried it yet. It's still in the box. So I'm going to try to try that um, by this weekend. Um, because, yeah, I like her makeup products and I want to wanted to try out her skincare. Um, so, yeah, I'll let y'all know how I like it. Uh, what else? I don't know what else. Um, as far as weight loss, y'all, oh my goodness. So when I first came home from the hospital from having her, the weight was slowly coming off. And everyone has always told me like, oh my God, you're going to drop so much weight if you breastfeed so much weight. I don't really experience that or I haven't really experienced that per se. When I got home from the hospital, weight was steadily dropping off like, you know, like a pound or so um, every few days or whatever. Um, which was great because by the end of the week it was a couple pounds so that was always great and it was steady steadily coming off but I think that was like my body also releasing the fluids because when I got home like my ankle swelled and stuff for about a week so I would say the first like maybe three weeks I noticed that the weight was coming off and yes I was stepping on the scale and then I noticed like I plateaued and it stopped but I'm still pumping I'm still you know breastfeeding and it's I plateaued for like two and a half weeks straight like yesterday was the first day I stepped on the scale and it was lower um than what it has been for the last two weeks now I will say that my diet has been trash like I eat fast food a lot um I haven't really been cooking we haven't really been we went to the grocery store one time since she's been born um and that was last week I believe um but I really haven't cooked like real food I maybe cooked once I think um but I really haven't like cooked cooked so we have been eating horribly hence i'm in the mcdonald's drive through right now um and we've been eating pizza we've been eating chinese food we've been eating you know wings and fries and just you know stuff like that um so i do know that my diet is bad but i still haven't seen a huge difference in the weight loss because i am breastfeeding and you know i know i talked to stacy and she said she kind of experienced the same thing like her weight wasn't just melting off because she was breastfeeding and she breastfed for ever like for a long time so I don't know um but eventually like I'll talk to my doctor tomorrow when I go um about getting back on um a ketogenic lifestyle I'm not ready to do it right now anyway but I'll talk to her about it when I do hold on
have y'all tried the McDonald's Travis Scott meal? It's six dollars and you get a quarter pounder with cheese plus bacon and lettuce on it. You get a medium fry with barbecue sauce on the side and you get a medium Sprite all for six dollars. That is a really, really good deal. Now, I usually get the quarter pounder with cheese and they don't have any of those, but they do have the Travis Scott burger, which is the quarter pounder with cheese. Um, so I may get that. My other option is either the two cheeseburger meal I like those or the 10 piece nuggets but anyway I thought I was ordering here but I don't order until I get up there which is now they have a hot and spicy McChicken too Thank you, sir. Hi, can I have the Travis Scott meal, please? Um, we're currently at a Travis Scott meal. It's being put upon at this moment. Oh, okay. Um, can I have um the number six, please? What sauce and drink would you like? Can I have hot mustard and can I have sweet tea? And then can I can you also add on just a regular cheeseburger with no onions, please? Would that be all? Yes. Ten thirty-seven. Thank you. No, I'm not eating all of this in one sitting. I just want a cheeseburger and I'll probably eat the nuggets later. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So uh, that's my, my weight struggles right now. I don't really know. No, I have not. I probably have another, probably another 30 pounds to lose before I get to my pre-pregnancy weight. So, yeah, but I have dropped a lot because I, y'all, I had gained a lot of weight. I, I probably lost 35 pounds or so already. So, that will give you an idea of how much weight I gained during the pregnancy. Like, <sighs> anywho, um, I'm not stressing about it though. Like, the weight will come off eventually. Um, but the holidays are coming up and it's just like, ooh, I love me some sweet potato pie and I love me some collard greens and macaroni and cheese, all that stuff. And I'm not going to deprive myself of it, but I am going to change my eating because this is ridiculous. Like I can't be eating like this all the time. I have the samples of my garage door. Color paint. Um... So that when we go to Home Depot, I can get them to color match it. And what else? I don't know what else. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. I'm just talking to y'all. It's been 18 minutes. We ain't talked about nothing. I'm just blabbling. But I just wanted to keep y'all up, get y'all up to date on what's been going on with buttons. I haven't really been on Instagram that much. I mean, I post here and there. Um, but yeah. So I will talk to you guys later. Toodles. Happy Wednesday, and it's September 16th. I had my six week six week um, checkup appointment today. Everything went well. He said my incision was fine, so that was good. Um, what else did I do? I dropped baby girl off with my mom this morning. Ronnie had to go to work um, early this morning. Um, on the way back, I stopped at McDonald's. I know, two days in a row bad buttons and then i stopped at burlington because i don't know about you guys where you guys live but in the dmv right now it is chile okay it was 61 degrees when i left out the house this morning with baby girl and she doesn't have a jacket for fall um i had bought her a jean jacket that i hauled in like a video before she was born but that size newborn and fat fat is too big for it um so i'll be passing that down to my sister for um my niece that isn't born yet but i needed to get something for her to wear in the fall they didn't really have any like dinner. People get on my nerves with these little showboat cars. Anyway, um, why your car gotta make that much noise? Like everybody got to hear you coming. And see you got cheetah.
to print decals all over his car unless it makes noise. I don't understand. Anywho, they didn't really have any jeans and they didn't have any jean jackets. I didn't see any, um, but they did have like a hoodie for her, which is it's okay. So I bought that. In my opinion, it was overpriced. It was $12, but it, it doesn't have any wow factor to it. But I just got it just for those days that her and I just need to run out the house for something. And then I will order her another jean jacket from Target um, in size 0 to 3 months to carry her through the fall. Um, but of course, I found some other things in there that um, she needed. And I also got me some eyelashes too because I planned to get back to buttons and be going out and stuff like that when this virus is over and I didn't have any more um, false eyelashes and I like the elf brand ones and they had um, like a jumbo pack of them or whatever for six bucks so I bought those um, but I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I bought when I get to my mom's house I'll have her record me because um, I really want to show you the stuff I also picked up a few things for um, my niece Brooklyn as well because they were so cute um, so I will talk to you guys later I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I got from Burlington because I gotta leave Brooke's stuff here. What's that? Let me see. She got some cake pops for this um, mini Mickey Mouse end of the summer party she's having for the kids this weekend. Has two little yellow dots there for Mickey. Are all of them Mickey or they're the same? Some are mini too. Oh, they look like this. That's the Mickey, Mickey Mouse one. She got them from Etsy. It's Etsy. She'll show me the mini mouse. But look at this outfit that I got for baby girl. It's super cute. Um, it's Carter's three months and it has some jeggings and a floral onesie. This would be really cute with like her gold shoes. She has like some um, metallic gold moccasins and she also has some metallic gold like Mary Jane shoes. I thought this was cute. Uh, also, she didn't have any of these and I really wanted her to have some turbans. I don't know if these are too big for her right now. It says zero to six months, so we'll see. But um, the doctor said her head was small, so we'll see. But I got her these. These were, oh, this outfit was, um, how much was this outfit? $10.99 for this. And then this was $4.99 for both of these. And then I also got her this one too. So she can grow a winch one she doesn't. They didn't have any, uh, oh, here's the Minnie Mouse um, cake pop. It has a little bow on it. Again, she got these from Etsy. Um... And then I went in there to find her a jacket because, like I said, it's kind of cool in the DMV area. But they didn't really have any jean jackets, and everywhere seems to be sold out. Target, Walmart. Gap has some, but they're really expensive. Old Navy is sold out of her size. So I did get her this, which is like a, um, a fleece hoodie. And this is $11 at um, Burlington. It's the Carter's brand. So I just got her this in the meantime. She also has thick blankets and stuff that we wrap her up in and then I got my um eyelashes that I like there was three three packs in here so that's nine for seven dollars that's good the elf brand I like their um eyelashes so whenever I do go back to wearing makeup I have some more eyelashes and then I got my niece some stuff she needed some um sleepers so I got her this Betsy Johnson one it's so cute it is five dollars at Burlington and it has the feet in it and the grippies at the bottom so I got her that and then I got her these two as well and this was a much better price I ordered her some from Target the other day they'll be here tomorrow but um these are the blanket sleepers so these are a little bit thicker but it's two for eight dollars so four dollars each and this one has like lattes and coffee and donuts and stars and this one just has stars on it but it's two of these and these have the footies so these are 12 months this outfit technically I bought for Reagan, but I'm going to give it to um, Brooklyn because she'll pass it down to Reagan anyway. But if they only had a 12 month, they didn't have any other size. But it's like the the um, the droopy crotch area um, overalls. It's really cute and it crisscrosses in the back. And then it has the ruffles on the um, overalls. And it's a Je Jessica Simpson and it was $12 at um, Burlington too. Again, just 12 months. So that's all I bought y'all. That was 70 bucks by itself. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. I was looking for some more socks for her, but 
socks to fit her feet right now is hard to find. They were all bigger sizes, so yeah. What else did we get delivered? Hey y'all, so I told y'all I ordered some stuff from Target for um baby girl and my niece. So I wanted to show you guys. My niece needed some sleepers um, in 12 to 18 months. So I went on Target's website to see what they had. And then they had some for her size, um, for Ray size on clearance. Um, and they were three packs for $10 at um, Target, which is really good because the original price was like $20 for three. And the, the three for $10 made it like $3.33 each, which is cheaper than going to like Ross and Marshalls and stuff. So I'll show you guys. What did I end up picking up? But I'll show you guys um, Brooklyn stuff first. Cause, yeah. And they came in two days. They had free two-day shipping. And they also had a deal where if you spent $40 on kids' clothes, you got $10 off. So um, I took advantage of that one too. But these, her, both of um, Brooklyn's came in a two-pack. So these are them. And they're both by the Carter's Just One You. So I got her 18 months. I probably should have got 12 months. Because 18 months is probably too long. But she, I don't know. I remember somebody get 18 months. So I got this one that has dinosaurs on it and they're footed <laughs> and then this one has an owl on it so i got her that one and then these two are the blanket ones which i did not know um but it's okay because sometimes it could be cold these guys have unicorns on them and this one just has flowers on it i didn't realize these were the blanket ones but and hers were not on sale i think hers were um 16 dollars for two for this size and this size was like a really popular size so everywhere else was sold out um walmart amazon everywhere was sold out at the 18 month size um so i had to get them from target and then like i said while i was looking for these for brooke i saw these for ray who's down here on the floor she just ate so that's the news right here and because my um sister passes brooke stuff down to ray um, she didn't, I knew she didn't have a lot of sleepers in the larger sizes, so I knew Ronnie and I would have to get her some, um, once she got in the larger sizes, and since these were $10 for three, these are the Gerber brand, so this one is three to six months I got, and these just have the floral, they have a fox on them, and then this is Strike, and it has, I don't know what that, another fox on it, um, but I like the Gerber brand, and I only buy the ones that are zipper because in the middle of the night, I know Ronnie and I ain't about to be trying to coordinate no buttons and stuff like that. So I just buy the zipper ones. So I got her these again. These was ten dollars, so that's three thirty three each. And then I also got her. I got her some headbands, but I don't know where those are. And I got her. Oh, here they are. What is it? I got her these headbands. They're really cute. Um, they're just, they have velvet on them. These were six bucks. Um, and then I got her these in the six to nine month size. And this was another three pack for $10. I couldn't tell if this was for a boy or girl, but since it was a mint color, I figured it could go for both. But um, this one just says, I love you and cursive all over it. This one has llamas on it, and this one just has triangles on it. So I figured maybe they were unisex. They're by the Cloud Island brand at Target, but again, ten dollars, so three thirty-three each. And this was a bigger size, six to nine months. And then these were also on clearance for ten dollars. Three, um, these three packs, and I got her the same pack twice, but in two different sizes because they were three dollars. That's really cheap. Um, so this is the first set and this set was the six to nine month and this one is the floral print from Target it's really pretty this one is polka dots bless you um, polka dots and then this one is also polka dots but it's like the mint color versus the blue um, I know these are for girls because obviously they're floral and pink and stuff and then I got the same three in three to six months so I got her 
six um, sleepers and three to six months and six sleepers and six to nine months. And then I threw in the headbands because I needed to make my purchase over the um, amount so that I could get the $10 off. And I like putting headbands on her anyway and she didn't have any velvet ones. So I got her these. That's my target haul, y'all. That's it. You like your stuff, Ray? She don't care. <laughs>